In this demo, I'll be showing you the features of Raw Power 2.0, a major upgrade for the app. Raw Power 2.0 is a full featured photo application that accesses your iOS photo library natively. You don't have to manage a separate library. This is the same library that the Photos app on iOS uses. We can start by looking at the album screen for the application. At the top are recent albums and recently viewed images, which are tracked automatically by Raw Power, the built-in system albums, and then the other albums that I've made myself. I'll tap to go into one of those albums. I have access in the info area of this inspector, information about the photos. I can also look in the library tab to see the entire photo library, including the hierarchy. The inspector can be moved from the right side to the left side by dragging from the titles. Now let's go into one of the albums to look at Raw Power's editing features. The first adjustment to show is black and white. Raw Power has a new black and white adjustment, which is a monochrome mixer. It mixes the red, green, and blue channels equally. I can just turn on a simple black and white conversion by tapping the, the checkbox. However, I can also choose from this list of filters if I'd like a different preset mix. This is the luminance mixing. There's also an equal channel one or ones that simulate lens filters. I'm going to select the yellow filter. When I'm done, I can simply hit the Done button to save my changes. And now that has been committed to the photo app. All edits are non-destructive, and so I can go back in at any time and re-edit this image. Let's look at another image. Hit the Edit button here, and I'm going to use another one of the new adjustments in Raw Power, the vignette. Vignette, in other applications, is a center-based vignette, which is okay if you're subject in the center, but if it's offset a little bit, it can look a little odd. The one in Raw Power has a center point control right here. As I tap and drag on the image, you'll see a spotlight effect to give me a better sense of what's going to happen. Centered over the dog's face, I can turn it down to my liking. I can tap this button in the upper right to show before and after. I'm also going to use another new adjustment called definition, which is a type of local contrast or sharpening filter. Add a little bit of sharpening. Deepen and Lighten are also new sliders in Raw Power 2.0, which are kind of highlights and shadows on steroids. Deepen does a really nice job with highlights and brings a richness back in the image. I'll use that to add a little more color to the dog's fur. Let's try that with another image. This image, shot in a shadowed area, would normally be uh, adjusted with a shadow slider. The problem with shadow sliders is they tend to lose contrast, as it is demonstrated here. The lighten slider and the deepen slider are very good at maintaining contrast, and you can push them a lot farther. So move the lighten slider, you can see how the image just becomes a lot nicer, and I can push it a lot farther without any of the same problems that one might get with a shadow slider. The new Raw Power 2.0 adjustment interface has a space saving design, which allows me to collapse adjustments but still see which adjustments have been applied. This is especially good on an iPhone. Other new adjustments in Raw Power 2.0 include chromatic aberration for correcting lens artifacts and perspective. Let's look at perspective now. As you can see, especially on the left edge of the image, is severe perspective tilt. I can just drag the vertical slider right here and make things upright. Perspective automatically center crops, which is not always what I want. Sometimes I might want to crop it differently and pull more information to the image. I can do that by dragging the scale slider and then engaging the crop. I'm going to choose a freeform crop because I want to get as much information in the image as I can. Raw Power also has a set of presets that are the first list in the Adjustments deck. A large set come with the application and you can create your own. 
you can also reorder them. Here I'm going to try using some of the black and white presets which mix in the current new black and white with some other adjustments. This one looks nice. Raw Power on iOS also allows you to reorder the adjustments to your liking. This does not change the order that the image is processed in, but it can be really helpful, especially on small screens or if you have a specific workflow in how you work on adjustments. I do that by picking Reorder Adjustments from the menu. I might like to put white balance at the top, then raw, and then perhaps curves. I can go back to the default set at any time. Raw Power has a powerful curve adjustment as well. In this case, I can use it very quickly to correct color casts and add contrast. Raw Power has an, an export feature, which allows you to export images in a wide range of formats, JPEGs, TIFFs, and PNGs. You can select the profile and export either the Files app or to the Photos application. A big feature of Raw Power 2.0 is its batch processing feature. To use it, I go to the grid and select some images. At the bottom, I can select the batch menu where I get a bunch of choices. I can apply any of the presets from before, revert these images to their original, paste the last edit, or generate raw previews. In this case, I will apply a preset. I'll switch them again to that black and white adjustment. It will apply the preset, downloading the image if necessary, generate the full-size JPEG for the result of the edits, and save that information to the photo library. It'll ask you at the end if you want to make the changes for all the images or cancel the operation. Generate raw previews is especially helpful if you have a camera which shoots small embedded JPEGs with the RAWs. A lot of Sonys are like that, Leicas, and some Micro Four Third cameras, as well as older cameras. In those situations, you're going to end up with a very small JPEG, which isn't a really good representation, especially on a large screen. If you use Generate Raw Previews, you can select a large number of those images and then generate a full-size raw preview that will then appear in your library. This concludes this quick overview of Raw Power 2.0 for iOS. Thank you.